Hey, badass business owners. Today, we're going to talk about gross profit versus net profit and what's the difference because I'm sure you've heard both of them. All right, first, before we dive in, we must recall the number one calculation that each and every business owner needs to understand. And that is that sales minus cost of goods minus expenses equals your profits. And if you keep this calculation in mind, it's going to help you with any of the different business terms that are out there to help you understand what they mean. So for example, if you're looking at your profit and loss statement, let's look at how it flows. Sales being income minus cost of goods minus expenses equals profits. So it works for both your when you're pricing your products and services and when you're looking at your flow of numbers through your business. It's just the flow of cash through your business. And this is important to understand because we're going to go over here where it says grow profit. And guess what? This bottom one is your net profit. Here it says net ordinary income. Your profit and loss could say it either way, but it's either net income or just net profits. Now let's take a look at what they both mean. Gross profit is the profit dollars a company makes after the cost of goods, but before the expenses. So you might recall over here on the profit and loss, you had your income, your cost of goods, and then you saw the gross profit. So all it is is sales minus cost of goods is going to give you your gross profit. And then when you're looking at net profit, now it's going to be the profit dollars after your cost of goods and after your expenses. So after all of the expenses that you have in the business, then you get down here to the bottom of your net profits. So sales minus cost of goods minus expenses down here at the very bottom profits net income. So when we're talking about profits in our calculation, typically most people are referring to the actual profits of the business, which is being the net profit at the very bottom. When they say gross profit, it's just before your expenses and stuff like that. So let's take a look at this calculation a different way. We got sales minus cost of goods is going to give us our gross profits. And then if you take off the expenses, now you're going to get down to looking at the net profit. So sales minus cost of goods give you gross profits. Then after you take off the expenses, you get to your net profits. Now, what about if you were trying to figure this out by a product or a service that you sell? Well, you can follow the exact same thing. So let's take a look at a product. We have our sales of $15. The cost of goods sold is $7, which means the gross profits on that product is $8. Then you're going to set aside some money for the expenses in the company. Let's just say this one sets aside $5 for each one. That means the net profits are going to be $3. Now that's a high expenses. It depends on how many they sell in this particular business, but it gives you an example of how the profits will flow through the particular business. Now, when you're looking at your services, you're going to do it the exact same way. Let's say you have a cleaning company and you do a job for 300. Your cost of goods is going to be the chemicals as well as the labor, obviously, for doing the service. And that's going to be $160, which tells us our gross profits on this job is $140. Then this cleaner needs to set aside money for her expenses, and it's going to be $40, which means the net profits of this particular job that she's doing is $100. Dollars, So you'll see that it flows the exact same way. Just remember, gross profit is the profit dollars that company makes after cost of goods, but before other expenses. And net profit is the profit dollars a company makes after cost of goods and other expenses. Once again, your number one calculation, sales minus cost of goods equals gross profits minus those expenses is going to give you your net profits. Just having you look at it a couple different ways to help you let this sink in and realize it's actually pretty easy to understand the difference. And by the way, if you want to understand your profit and loss statement a little better, there's a video right here that is set for people that have not really ever dove into it. It's going to go over the basics of it. And if you want to know how to use all of this into your pricing, then don't forget to check out one for products and one for services. Now, if you like what you see, don't forget to hit that like button so people know they should check this video out. And don't forget to hit subscribe as well. And I will see you on the next video. Now get out there and be the badass business owner that I know you are.